Hi, I'm Carol Andrews for another episode of Southwest TV News. Here are some of the stories coming up on today's show. Nine-year-old Amisha Hawkridge is known in Swift Current for excelling in school and making a name for herself in the local soapbox racing circuit. And now the Swift Current youth has been selected as the 2013 champion child for the Children's Hospital Foundation of Saskatchewan. At the September 3rd City Council meeting, Fire Chief Dennis Pilon brought forward a report and received approval for an increase in service fees. $110,000 is the fundraising goal set for the 2013 Swift Current United Way campaign. The annual fundraiser was officially launched during a breakfast presentation at the Sky Center with the capacity crowd in attendance. Thanks for joining us here today. A Swift Current youth has been chosen as the 2013 Saskatchewan Champion Child. We have more in today's top story. Nine-year-old Amisha Hawkridge is known in Swift Current for excelling in school and making a name for herself in the local soapbox racing circuit. And now the Swift Current youth has been selected as the 2013 Champion Child for the Children's Hospital Foundation of Saskatchewan. The Champions program is presented by Walmart on an annual basis and honors remarkable children who have excelled despite severe medical challenges. Amisha Hawkridge fits the profile and shares her story. That I am deaf on one side and uh, there's heart, kidney and spine issues and I have the kidney and the spine issues. Um, when I was six months old I was dressed to the hospital um, by am ambulance because for my kidney issues and we found out that my spine was tethered uh, when I was two and a half years old and I had to do surgery uh, for that reason or else I would have eventually lost the use of my legs and it's a form of spina bifida. Amisha says she's excited to share her story with others while raising awareness of other sick children across the province. And as Vina Hawkridge is proud of her daughter's role as the Saskatchewan champion child, She's also grateful for the announced construction of a new children's hospital in Saskatoon. Well, I know we travel to Calgary quite often and it would be a real it would have been really helpful to have that hospital here so our family didn't have to travel as far, but now it's great that it's going to be there to help other children and, you know, they it, this Saskatchewan really needs this hospital and it's great that it's finally being built. The coming year will be a busy one for Amisha as she participates in the groundbreaking ceremony of the new Saskatchewan Children's Hospital and traveling across Canada and the U.S. So she is going to be the champion for a full year, so until the end of August of 2014. So she'll be very busy. We'll keep her really busy all across the province. And then in October, her and her family will be representing Saskatchewan children in Toronto as well as Orlando. And so she gets to go there and meet other champions from across the country as well as the United States. And so she gets to meet all the other champion children that are representing their own children's hospital foundations. Amisha Hawkridge is the first Swift Current youth to be named the Saskatchewan champion child. The Champions, presented by Walmart program, has raised over $76 million since 1994 for Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. Southwest TV News is hitting the road with our annual Summer Around the Southwest Tour covering a variety of exciting events across the region. The Southwest TV News Summer Around the Southwest Tour is proudly brought to you by Innovation Credit Union. Imagine the possibilities. Another exciting season of Market Square returns to downtown Swift Current, featuring live entertainment, fresh garden produce, crafts, and other unique vendors. Market Square, every Saturday at the corner of Central and Chaplin. Presented by Standard Motors, in partnership with Innovation Credit Union and Southwest TV News. Starting October 1st, a number of services offered by the Swift Current Fire Department will see a fee increase. We have more in this report. Swift Current's Fire Department provides a number of services to local residents outside of its day-to-day -day fire rescue calls. Services which are time-consuming 
and not always charged at a rate comparable to other Saskatchewan communities. At the September 3rd City Council meeting, Fire Chief Dennis Pilon brought forward a report and received approval for an increase in service fees. And in some cases, the introduction of new fees for such areas as backyard fire pit permits. Effective uh, October 1st will be a $25 fee. Um, basically, it, it's time that we're spending and it's uh, a service that some people will use. And, you know, the, the people that don't want fire pits or don't have fire pits in their backyard, why should they pay for them through the, uh, the, the taxes? So uh, those that want that privilege will now have to pay for it. Meanwhile, occupancy load cards for halls and other facilities will see a fee of $100 introduced. While services such as conducting licensing inspections for daycares, group homes and more will increase from $65 to $100 per inspection. Overall service fees resulting in the city generating approximately $5,000 more a year and benefiting local residents in the long run. The ability for a fire department to invoice for services rendered is basically zero. There's very little that we can invoice for. Uh, so there, there's a few items that we can bring some revenue in. Um, we, we need to try and get what we can uh, and help ease the burden on the taxpayers when we can and where we can. The new service fees outlined by the Swift Current Fire Department will take effect October 1st, with full details available from City Hall. W.W. Smith Insurance has reached a milestone as it celebrates its centennial. Having served Southwest Saskatchewan for the past 100 years, W.W. Smith Insurance is your motor license issuer, while specializing in all of your personal and commercial needs, including home, auto, agro, business, and life insurance. W.W. Smith Insurance, independently owned and operated since 1913. Our company helps tell your story and provides you with a solution on how to market your business. Because making a great video is only half the equation. You have to know how to use it. We have done a major The Swift Current United Way has launched its annual fundraising campaign and is counting on your support to help a number of local agencies. $110,000 is the fundraising goal set for the 2013 Swift Current United Way campaign. The annual fundraiser was officially launched during a breakfast presentation at the Sky Center with a capacity crowd in attendance. The campaign already has $16,000 raised and was further boosted by a number of corporate donors. The United Way is a national partner of ours. And so it's right across the country that we do different events, we host workplace campaigns, and we are a very large supporter because of how many people that they can touch. And the fact that they're not a single charity. They're a charity that, if you will, so raises money to support others. Money which will be used to assist the Swift Current United Way through the coming year and its 13 partner agencies, with a stronger focus on youth. Over the last uh, few years, we've actually uh, readjusted the whole strategic plans and, and the United Way in general across Canada. And one of the focuses is being all that kids can be. And it's, they are our future, and it's really important that we get behind them and provide them with all the opportunities that they possibly can. So we're very, very happy to be part of the uh, United Way Active uh, Play Program that's uh, within the schools. Physical activity and promoting a healthy lifestyle is top of mind for Saskatoon's own Kelsey Hendry, a Canadian Olympian pole vaulter. Hendry shared her experiences in the world of sports with the crowd and says everyone needs a passion to hold on to while keeping a balance between work and play. As a child, I think for me, sports was my world. It's where I made my friends. It's where I learned how to be an athlete. I became a student athlete that way, learned about time management. It really just gave me so much to be involved in sport. I made lifelong friends. I learned about nutrition. It, was, it just offered me so many different opportunities, and I just want every young kid to have that same opportunity that I had and not everybody in their family can do it that way so we need these programs in the community to support our youth to allow them to have those opportunities. 
In the coming weeks, local businesses can expect a visit from the Swift Current United Way's workplace representatives, encouraging corporate donations or ongoing payroll deductions to the United Way. Further details on the 2013 Swift Current United Way campaign can be found online or by calling the local office. Well, this brings to a close another episode of Southwest TV News, reporting the stories that matter to you. We always welcome your news tips. You can always reach us here by phone at our studio or by email to contact us at southwesttvnews.com. Also, be sure to join us daily online for the latest news from across southwest Saskatchewan and so much more at mylocaltv.ca. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Pinterest. Thanks for joining us here today. I'm Carol Andrews.